Hi there, sign of Libra. This is your next 48 hour reading. It's Kim, how are you doing? Hope you're doing really good. Um, hit like and subscribe if you do like and subscribe. We are gonna pull from the Spirit Animal Oracle first and um, then we'll pull from the Good Tarot. I'm kind of doing it in columns. So let's see what we've got. First one, Skunk Spirit. Libra, this is something that Pisces had on the bottom of the deck. So Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. Nightingale Spirit, 41, love is all around. Oh, it's not Skunk Spirit. I'm sorry. It is um, Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. Sorry. Pisces did not get that. 42, Otter Spirit. You are never alone. You are never alone. 42. You are never alone. And then I have 33, Horse Spirit. Freedom is yours. And 11, Butterfly Spirit, Transformation is Beautiful. Transformation is Beautiful. Okay. So let's pull um, from the Good Tarot and let's see what this is about. What is the Badger Spirit about? It is about temperance or patience, and it's also about the three of air. So it does have to do with some kind of, um, usually some kind of like initial loss. And that would be representing uh, the three of swords energy, some kind of loss. There may be um, groups of people involved or something like that, or um, just something like that. That is, it, it could also be just about a lot of people getting together putting their minds together. Um, it could be talking about intelligence with the three of air. Since air does represent the mind. So with, with that fearless and bold, I think that's what it's talking about. And um, temperance or patience has to do with uh, the right chemistry and balancing things out. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. I have the high priestess for that one. Otter Spirit, 42. Oh, it's so cute. Otter Spirit, number 42. You are never alone. Whoops. Temptation. Devil card or 15. With the Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Horse spirit, freedom is yours with the five of fire. So it's something that is like not everybody will really agree necessarily, but freedom is yours. And then for butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. Let's get one for that. The ace of water. Nice. The ace of water. Okay, so we'll put this right here, but that's for the butterfly spirit. That's really nice. Let's get some more messages. So what about being fearless and bold? It feels like the Queen of Wands energy. It feels like um, Aries energy. Um, although that could be Sagittarius with the temperance or patience energy. So tell us more about this, uh, what to have, what is going to be balanced out. Or tell us about um, how maybe we could get groups of people to get along. King of Pentacles. I think it's a challenge, though. It's a commitment, but it has to do with a challenging commitment, perhaps. Because of the King of Pentacles, it, it's really good at business and entrepreneurship, but some sometimes it can be questioning a commitment if that is coming out in the reverse. 
Tell me about the three of air. Tell me more about uh, whatever loss it is. The wheel of fortune. So, like I said, this can also represent minds coming together and thinking. And I, and I think that's maybe, maybe what that is. Because the wheel of fortune here, um, also 10, the completion, the wheel of fortune. It's uh, fixed energies, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And it does have to do with fate and destiny and things just kind of coming around. Speaking of that, love is all around. Nightingale spirit clarified by the high priestess it's a just knowing and it might have to do with you and your song hey okay, tell me about high priestess ten of swords in the reverse it's about a reinvention of oneself completely reinventing oneself you could even call it a rebirth yeah, especially with the ace of water on the bottom of the deck and we have the ace of water here that clarified the butterfly spirit yeah, so there is something brand new, something um, transforming. Otter spirit, you are never alone. And then I have temptation with that um, and the devil energy. Okay, well, so, so there is, to, and there's the hierophant. So the temptation has to do with doing something in like a traditional way. Oh, the way it's always been. But it's actually not, if that's not right. That's um, what is being possibly challenged. It might also have to do with the tourist energy possibly or Pisces with the high priestess five of fire not everybody will agree but gee you're, you're one past a celebration already so there's already a few milestones met and truly it's like this metamorphosis into this beautiful uh, butterfly spirit nice and there it is and the queen of wands sharing your gifts a reinvention and and spiritual gifts coming in really strong, really powerful. I guess they've always been there. Just whether um, you're using them or, or not. That might have been the question. Ten of cups on the bottom. That's what I'm saying. That is so good. Let's see. Let's also get some cards from the Kipler Fortune Telling deck have poverty it looks like it's connecting the queen of wands with the ace of water uh that could be talking about it's a water sign or an aries um why why tell us about the why here tell us about the why did that card come out because of a gift well that's the temptation part it's pulling you out of a poverty mindset. So pulling you out of that set, that mindset or, or that experience or hardship. So pulling out of that and something being a truly like a gift to you. So what's the reinvention about then? And so just don't let that be too much of a temptation. Um, yeah, it's, it's trying to get you um, out of doing something that's really hard and to something that's reinventing yourself so it's a little bit easier for you to do. Yeah, it's not as hard of work. Tell me about the three of air. I have 13 wealthy man and there's uh, probably where the gifts come from. Right? Well, this is definitely a feeling of breaking free. Um, let's get some angel numbers. And we're going to wrap up this reading since it is the next 48 hour. Hope you enjoyed it. Libra. What number? What's the lucky number for Libra? For next for 13. 13, 13. Like I said, wealth. That's going to be your lucky number. 1313. I am confident. Yeah. It says you are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook will keep you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. That's what I've got. That's what I got. Now on the bottom, 333. Three, three, I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts. Um, as a light worker here, assisting all of humanity, 333. 
live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. That's what I got. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.